Part four of why being an infectious disease epidemiologist makes you a Debbie Downer. So for this week, I'm traveling for work. So I'm staying at a hotel. And you might be thinking, Alex is gonna talk to me about the hotel room. But what is my biggest fear in hotels? The pool. Why? It's whenever you add water and hotels together, you get a lot of outbreaks. A few years ago, the CDC did a review and they of all the outbreaks associated with water, and they found that 71 outbreaks over four years were associated with hotels and water, and 70% of those were dealing with hot tubs. So maybe just avoid the hot tub altogether. But what type of bacteria do we typically see in these hotel outbreaks? One being Legionella, and they can be very deadly, especially if you're immunocompromised, and two, Cryptosporidium, which can be highly resistant to chlorine. So let's actually run through an example. A couple of years ago, the CDC put this out in their MMD WR publication about a hotel outbreak in Maine. What happened is that over the course of just a couple of days, a lot of families reported to the health department that they were getting sick after staying at the single hotel. But the CDC showed up and tried to interview as many people as they could, and they found that there were 23 people that reported some type of symptom that met the case definition of getting an infection, and all of these people reported using that hotel pool. So what happened when the health inspectors actually looked at the pool? Well, they found a long range of non-compliance, both at not adding the right amount of chemicals, not testing to see if the right amount of chemicals were there, and they didn't have anyone actually hired that knew how to take care of the pool. What's worse is when the CDC showed up, the employees that worked there just dumped a random amount of chlorine to try to take care of it, so the CDC actually couldn't see if there was no chlorine in that pool whenever those people got sick. So what can you do whenever you stay at a hotel to keep yourself safe? The CDC gives you a few things that you can do. Number one, you can actually look for the inspection reports to see, are the, is the hotel actually testing for the right chemicals, and are they doing it frequently? You can also look up online the inspection reports. It varies by state, but you might be able to see is this pool inspected and did it pass the most recent inspection report just like we see with restaurants. The CDC also said that you can actually buy your own test strips and actually test for free chlorine to see if there's an appropriate amount of chemical. So let's actually do that right now. I bought some test strips and we're going to go down and test the pool really quick where I'm staying at. Whatever test strips you buy, you want to follow the instructions, but typically you want to get really deep water and nothing on the surface. You rip out the strip, put it in the water and look at the comparison to see how much free chlorine is here. And here you can hardly see any at all. So clearly from my test strips, you can see that there is not enough free chlorine in this pool, at least from what I tested, and you're not going to want to swim in that. And then lastly, the CDC says just avoid hot tubs, especially if you're the high-risk individual that might get sick because it is really hard to treat and disinfect for Legionella. So next time you go on a trip, keep these tips in your back pocket to see is the hotel pool that you're staying in safe, compliant, and safe for you to actually swim in.